Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Crafter Solutions. Um, I'm not doing a live, I just want to do a quick video, um, really quick to touch base with all of our customers, especially because tonight I just finished a collaboration with Lou Lowry. Um, her Facebook page is My Life in My Craft Room, and we just finished a collaboration to win three tipsies. So, um, and a lot of my Laurel cost loyal customers, I haven't been on in a while. Um, just want to let you know we're busy printing off things, um, fulfilling orders. We have a lot of collaborations that we've started and we love all of our customers. Um, so I just wanted to touch base quickly with you guys. Give us an update. Give you an update. I'm tired. <laughs> so the last time we did live was about three months ago when we launched... The tear tape, the mini tear tape, and I think the MVP 2.0. John is in the process of two new products. Um, unfortunately, for those of you new to us, my husband was given a terminal diagnosis back in um, February of 2018. Things are just getting harder for him to get upstairs to work in the office to do designing. So we're trying to do a remote from his, for his laptop, like a remote, uh, very techy stuff. So I kind of run the show when it comes to Crafter Solutions, um, but he is the design master behind everything. So quick update, everything is 3D printed and I'm going to take you into the office where we have some things printing right now. So back there we have a couple tipsies going and over here I have an MVP going which is our multi-purpose tool. This printer unfortunately is down right now. Um, it needs to be fixed and John has to kind of help me. Um, I'm learning them more and more as we go. We actually have five printers going um, to get our orders in you know, in a timely fashion. And my mom actually runs two of them so it's kind of like she helps us out as well. Um, so if one does break that we are not stuck without production going on. Um, but everything is printed from a 3D filament and then we have custom colors and for the boss, you can have that personalized. I'm going to quickly show you the products that we do carry. Um, some of you might have been on our Etsy shop tonight, but um, just wanted to show you. So the one that Lou showed was the um, Tipsy. This is the Tipsy, which holds your Tombow glue, and you don't even have to keep your lid on it. This one is on right now. But what's also great about the Tipsy, it holds... I brought all my fun stuff out here in the hallway. <laughs> Um, it also holds the large Tombow glue as well. And then some of you are hearing about the round glue. This is the extra tipsy. It kind of looks like more like a goblet. And that one will hold, if you're familiar with, art glitter glue. And I even have the needle nose um, on it. And it will hold upside down and it doesn't leak out of the needle nose or the needle thing. It holds all sizes. I even put the big 16 ounce in it and it does hold the 16 ounce without flipping it over. Here's the other. That's the 2 ounce. And then it also holds tacky glue. If anyone uses that tacky glue, holds the tacky glue. And then things I've just learned, it holds if you got Oh, I just dropped it down the stairs. Let's see if Dom can go get it. Hey Dom, that's my son. Can you get the glue that just fell on mommy's stairs? You're gonna learn I'm very informal when it comes to videos or even doing a live, which hopefully we'll do one mid-November. Can you get that glue that mommy just dropped? Yeah. All right, you guys can then see Dom. Here's Dom. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> okay, get mommy the glue. Oh. Yep, it's a late night for him. Oh. So it also holds the Zig glue, if anyone uses that. It holds that one nicely. <laughs> and then our other products, if you use, which this is my go-to adhesive when I'm scrapbooking, if you use the ATG gun, it's amazing, but it's also big and bulky and always like flips over and is annoying that my husband created the holster and this holds your ATG gun. Let me show you. So I'm going to show you back there. See, see it holds that perfectly and it's not too big and then if you are familiar with stamping up or um, the multi-purpose tool holder we have the MVP which holds all the pieces and parts plus some scissors for the, the take your or is it the take your pick tool holder 
Um, and then the MVP 2.0, which is amazing. It holds all these fun goodies, so they're organized. It holds spritzers, it holds aqua pens, it holds scissors, tweezers, um, bone folder. Everything has a spot, and you can do whatever. And if you use like this, the zig holder, it also holds. It, it will. It. I just dropped it tipsy. It fits nicely in there. Um, this is the Gina K glue. It fits in there upside down. The Lawn Fawn glue, it will fit upside down. Thanks, buddy. I dropped another thing. So those will fit in there upside down. Keep everything organized. Um, the other products that we carry is, which Lou will be showing soon, is the heat embossing. It's called the Boss, and it's the heat embossing gun holder. So if you have a heat embosser like this, I this is how our company started, was the Boss. This was the original product. Um, my husband got a 3D printer for Christmas. Um, before he got sick, he was um, a gearhead and he was never one to sit around. He was always tinkering things. He's a mechanical engineer. Um, that's his job. He is still fortunately working, but you know, we're probably losing those days there shortly. Um, <clears throat> but hoping for the best. So I always got annoyed with my heat embossing gun because you know, it just has that little stand right there. You know what I'm talking about, like this thing. And I always felt it was so close to the table and like I burn things. So he built this stand and you zip tie it on. Literally, you can turn on your heat embossing gun and leave it going and it won't um, burn anything. And you can use it as a handle to like make it so much easier. And this is the one product you can have personalized. So mine, how cute he is. He put Lisa, the love of my life, 2019. So that's mine. You can have it personalized up to 40 characters. So Lou is getting hers in the next day or so, and it will say my life in my craft room. You can have your name on it. If you sell cards or have a company, you can have your name put on it up to 40 characters. The other products that we have, um, this is our tape deck. If you use tear tape, multiple, oh, that one's backwards, but um, multiple size tear tapes to keep them nice and organized because again, this stuff is also annoying when you, it's great to use, but then where do you put it? And it also has some holder for a bone folder, some spritzers, tweezers, scissors, if you want as well. We also make the mini tape deck, which holds the two smaller tape tear tapes and has them, the spritzer holders. So right now, those are all our products. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, my husband's in the process of finishing up two products that we're, our goal is to launch mid-November before the holiday season. Um, one is another tape holder, um, tape gun holder. The rec I think it's the Recollections, like the other one that looks um, summer something. Let's see. Oh, I can show it. I don't know what it's going to look like yet, but um, it will hold this type of glue. Um gun. So that one's in works. And then um, the other one is like a surprise. I'm not ready to even talk about it because it's going to be so amazing. Um, again, he blows my mind when he comes up with these creations. Basically, I give him a problem or like our customers say, hey, what about something like this? And he works on it. Um, the secret project is underway. We printed it out. He then tweaks it to fit it. You know, we, you know, he tweaks here and there. Um, to make the product just perfect. So I just wanted to touch base so you could put a name or face to the name. I'm very informal, don't mind me. I'm, it's been a long day. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, this business started February of 2019, started locally, and then my friend Donna, you know, watches a lot of people on live. She started sending um, some of her favorite people she watched live and they loved our products and they'd share them and you know that's just how it started and we are so appreciative of all the collaborations that we've had in the last almost year now believe it or not um so our current um collaborator is lou with my life in my craft room so if you don't know her page go like it she makes amazing um she does amazing coloring like blows my mind and cards 
and then Rachel Stamper, who is the original, <laughs> the original collaborator of everything um, Crafter Solutions. Um, she is so fun to watch. She makes great cards as well. She is, um, her Facebook page is Rach the Stamper. And then Gail sent Lou a tipsy and stamp with Gail Sue. She's another, I mean, her cards are amazing as well. She's another collaborator of ours that we love. And then Vicky Stamp in Happy Place. She's in Canada and she also is one of our collaborators that we love to um, share her page and share her information as well. And then um, Stamp with Joe. She's in New York. Um, she also loves our products, shares our products. We're so appreciative of that. Making sure I don't forget anybody. I think that's everybody. Oh, and then what's really exciting in the last couple months, since August, we are now um, in two stores in um, Scrap Mania in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. They carry our Tipsies and the ATG gun holders, the holster we call it. And then Paper Palace in Edmond, Oklahoma, they just did a purchase and they actually their products are just getting shipped to them now and they'll be carrying our Tipsies, extra Tipsies, our 2.0s, um, and some tear tapes and tear, mini tape decks. Those. So they are in Edmond, Oklahoma. So again, thank you guys for anyone that's new to our page. Um, please ask us questions. Um, I'll be going live as soon as our two new products are ready to launch. So that is the goal is from mid-November, hopefully a little sooner. Um, again, I apologize that I have not been on live in a while. I am a school teacher. I am a public school teacher in Cleveland, Ohio. I teach preschool special ed children in an integrated preschool class. Um, so I have three, four, and five-year-olds with special needs integrated in a preschool all day. So, been back to school since August, and it's hectic, crazy, busy. Um, and then also taking care of my husband, who needs a lot of care. And then my six-and-a-half-year-old son, our son, you know, trying to keep him busy and happy and whatnot. So, but don't worry, we've been keeping up on orders. We appreciate everything. Take care, everybody. See you all soon. Thanks. Bye.